Welcome to Everyday Nursing Knowledge Lectures and today we will learn how to assess an AV fistula. AV fistula is surgically created connection between an artery and a vein for patient who needs long term dialysis. And for dialysis, two needles are inserted into this AV fistula. One needle is used to remove blood from the patient body. It is sent to dialysis machine where the blood is filtered and returned back to the patient through another needle. So once this is surgically created, it can approximately take 6 to 8 weeks for this fistula to heal and mature before starting first dialysis. That means the high blood pressure in the arteries causes the walls of the vein to become stronger and thicker and sturdy enough to tolerate the dialysis. Now let's see the types of AV fistula. There are three types of AV fistula, one created in the forearm, that is forearm, that is called radiocephalic fistula, and two can be created in the upper arm, that is brachiocephalic fistula or brachial basilic fistula. In radiocephalic fistula, the radial artery is anastomosis to the cephalic vein and you will see an incision or scar in the wrist area. This is called radiocephalic fistula. Now coming to the brachiocephalic fistula, the cephalic vein is anastomosis to the brachial artery. The cephalic vein runs along the lateral aspect of the forearm and a anastomosis is created between the cephalic vein and the brachial artery to form brachiocephalic fistula and you will see an incision at the elbow crease. Now the third is brachial basilic fistula. The basilic vein runs along the medial. This is the basilic vein and it runs along the medial aspect of the forearm. And it is a deeper vein, so it is mobilized to the superficial channel and then it is anastomosis to the brachial artery to form a brachial basilic fistula. And in brachial basilic fistula, you will see a long scar extending from the elbow to the axilla. Now let's see the assessment with AV fistula. You have to monitor for signs and symptoms of infection. That means any redness, warmth, swelling or discharge. You have to assess for aneurysm. Aneurysm is the outpouching of the blood vessels. This is because the walls of the blood vessels are weakened due to repeated cannulating at the same site. And the skin over this aneurysm can become thin. And aneurysm can even rupture. This can cause severe bleeding, which is an emergency condition. You have to assess for any hematoma, especially if the patient is on any blood thinners. You have to assess for steel syndrome. Steel syndrome is hypoperfusion and ischemia, decreased blood supply to the tissues away or distal from the AV fistula. As a result, patient can complain of hand numbness, pain, cold extremities. If the blood supply is completely decreased, and at times gangrene can develop. Now you can do an arm elevation test. You can instruct the patient to elevate the arm. So when usually when the patient elevates the arm, the fistula becomes completely collapsed or flattened. That's normal. That indicates there is no stenosis, narrowing or any obstruction in the outflow of the blood. But if the fistula remains dilated, that indicates the presence of stenosis or any outflow obstruction. Now the most important assessment is you have to palpate for thrill and auscultate for bruit. Thrill is the flow of blood and over the anastomosis site you can feel a flow continuous vibration that is called thrill and you can feel with your fingers. And bruit you have to auscultate with a stethoscope. It is a continuous sound. It's a low pitch. It sounds like a blowing sound and it is stronger at the anastomosis and both thrill and bruit will gradually diminish as you move away from the anastomosis site. But if you hear a high pitch bruit, a high sound, that indicates again an obstruction or a stenosis. A patient has AV fistula and if there is absence of thrill and bruit, you have to immediately notify the physician because it indicates non-functional AV fistula. Now the last assessment will be you have to feel for a pulse. Usually pulse is diminished because of the fistula if you can feel a strong pulse, it again indicates an obstruction or stenosis. You can feel a strong pulse or pulse should be intensified when the AV fistula is compressed with one arm. So you are obstructing the flow, then you can feel for a pulse. So today we learned about assessment of AV fistula and thanks for watching my video.